Good morning, Nerd Fighters! Right now our theme is still aspirations, and just so you know, this one gets a little personal. Oh, the nerd fighters! My biggest aspiration at the moment is to learn how to understand and take control of my own emotions. This is where it gets personal. Do you guys remember that video I posted around Christmas and I was all sad looking and whatnot and you guys posted really super nice comments? Well, the day I recorded that video was the first day that I was prescribed my antidepressants. It kind of came as a shock to me because I've been in denial about my issues for a really long time. But I was more afraid of how other people would view me if I told them about it, which I hate because I would never ever think less or different of my friends who take antidepressants. But there are those few people that spoil it for the bunch. You know which ones I'm talking about. There's always one. The one who says, depression? That's not a real thing. Just be happy. You don't need drugs. Your life isn't even that bad. Stop complaining. And it's a really terrible feeling to hear those words, especially when they come out of the mouth of one of your friends who's talking about someone else. Because you know that they would think the same thing about you if you told them that you were taking it. And it's annoying and it's stressful and frankly kind of silly to have to hide this kind of thing from your friends. So I guess that's my aspiration right now, trying to sort out my own emotions and become mentally stable. One of the ways I'm trying to do this right now is through this book that I started reading last night. It's called The Actor at Work by Robert Benedetti and I picked it up at my college. It was just in one of those boxes with a bunch of free books and I decided to pick it up and read it last night. And in the first section it's already given me a challenge to keep what it calls an actor's journal and in it I'm supposed to take note of things that I change in different situations and the things that I notice that other people change in different situations. This includes changes in behaviors, voices, manners of speaking, choices of words, choices of clothes, your thoughts and your feelings, etc, etc, etc. A friend of mine told me yesterday that acting was actually his haven from depression and that learning to practice emotional gymnastics, as he so cleverly put it, helped him to be more aware of his natural emotions and what causes shifts in them. So I'm gonna keep reading this book as well as others that have similar themes of learning every angle of your emotions and how to control them and hope that doing so will help me control mine. After that, I don't know. I have many things that I would like to aspire to but there's just not enough time in life to do everything. So I guess after this my next aspiration is just to finally choose one. Thanks for hearing me out guys, DFTBA and Dave, I'll see you tomorrow.